number of years ago, I was in Hong Kong for a mission trip. I was standing at a busy street corner with a couple of students from the school, and one of the girls pulled on my shirt sleeve and said, Pastor Randy, why do you believe in Jesus? Fighting through the jet lag, guided by the Holy Spirit, I answered her this way, because when I was still Christ's enemy, he died for me. That answer gave us a great opportunity to talk about what Jesus does. In this little girl's world and in much of our world, we have a tendency to think that if I'm God's enemy, I have to correct things first. I have to make my life right, deal with my demons. And once I've done this, then God will love me. Well, according to the second article of the creed, that is completely backwards. While I was still Christ's enemy, he found me. He came to me. Jesus put real skin in the game to save me and all people. Real skin in the game. We hear it as we go through the second article of the creed. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, crucified, died, and was buried. All for me. All for you. Jesus put real skin in the game, became man, gave up his godhood, and took on human flesh and blood so that he would save me and you and all people. The second article of the Creed is a wonderful article because it points us directly to our salvation. It is through Jesus on the cross. It is him putting skin in the game so that you and I would be forgiven. And it doesn't stop there at the cross. We receive that forgiveness when Jesus gave up his life for us. But he is still here with us, a very incarnate, real God coming to be with us. When we gather at the divine service on Sunday morning, there we hear words from Jesus himself, you are forgiven, expressed to us through the pastor. We hear Jesus in the sermon preached into our ears. We have the liturgy pointing us to what Jesus has done. And then at the supper, we gather there together and this same Jesus who put skin in the game came into our world gives us his very body and blood to eat and to drink for us, for the forgiveness of sins. This is a real loving God, not a myth, not someone that we need to impress and then he will love us. He found us. He sought us out. He gave his life so that you and I would be forgiven and he continues to give that we might live in him in joy and peace. We are the pro-life generation. That's what today's high school and university students are calling themselves. Why are youth for life? Lutherans for Life's Why for Life community helps answer the question. Why for Life engages and equips today's learners to be tomorrow's leaders through education, networking, and service. Learn more about bringing Why for Life to your church and school at whyforlife.org. That's the letter Y, the number 4, L-I-F-E dot org.